Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandran. In this video, I am going to talk about the risk involved in piping design if you are late. What does it mean? It means that if you have an experience in other fields and want to shift your career to piping design after several years, then you have to understand the risk that you have to go through. Because if you don't understand the risk, then you may experience a mental stress which may not allow you to pursue the piping design successfully. So in this video, let's understand the risk involved in piping design if you are late. So without wasting your time, let's get started. First, let's understand the subject issue. The subject issue is, there are candidates who wanted to change their current field to piping design after several years. Changing the field is absolutely no issues. You can always change your field if you don't like the current field. But if you are changing your field after several years of experience in one field, then you have to go through certain risk factors. You have to evaluate and understand this risk factor. Otherwise, it will put you in a tremendous stress. You may not be able to pursue the field that you have chosen successfully. So, this is a subject issue. If you are going to plan to shift your current field to piping design after 8 years or 10 years, then you will have to go through these experiences, the risk which I am going to discuss about in this video. If the risks are acceptable to you, then you can pursue piping design, absolutely no issues. But you have to understand and you have to realize whether you will be able to take up this risk or not. Because our life is all about the time bound. See, if you waste more number of days and years, then you will lose your growth. So you have to uh, use your time wisely so that you can plan your growth properly actually. So if you don't use your time and keep on changing the field from one field to another field, you will not be able to learn many things. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Let's understand what are the risks involved. First, let me tell you what is considered to be the concept of career growth. I wanted to put this into a layman's language. I don't want to give you a complex example. The concept of career growth is nothing but accumulate more knowledge in one field in a period of time so that you can use that knowledge to grow yourself. You can promote yourself so that you can seek more salary. You can seek more facilities. You will be recognized in the organization. You will be promoted actually. But if you don't have a knowledge in one particular field, then you will not get these things actually. So the concept of career growth is all about accumulating more knowledge in one particular field and staying for a longer period of time actually. But if you are staying for a longer period and you are not going to accumulate any knowledge, then definitely you will have a short of salary, you will not be able to get a promotion, you will not be able to get the recognition. So the concept of career growth is pretty much as simple as this actually. You have to accumulate more knowledge throughout your experience so that you can use that as an asset to grow yourself, to promote yourself, to get more salary and more facilities and more recognition and more roles and responsibilities so that you can handle bigger roles actually. So this is the concept. So if you are a person who are working in other fields and wanted to shift your career to piping design, what are the risks that you have to go through? So first you have to uh, um, you have to understand that this video is for those who are above six years of experience because you will go through this kind of uh, uh, risk factors only if you are above six years of experience. For the candidates who are less than six years of experience, you can still change your career even you have an experience in other fields because you still have time to learn, you still have time to grow yourself actually. But if you are having an experience more than six years, then you have to understand this risk. Only then you have to pursue the piping design. If you don't understand, if you don't uh, in a, if you are not in a position to uh, realize that this kind of pressure will uh, able to uh, stop your growth, then you have to immediately take a decision not to pursue piping design. So for those who are above 6 years of experience, please understand the list of risks that I am going to explain you now actually. Let me start summarizing the risk now. The first one is lack of knowledge. If you are above 6 years of experience and your CV will show you that you have 6 years of experience in other fields. So if you are moving to piping design, definitely you will be considered as a fresher. But if you are putting any fake experience, you will still not be able to gain the kind of experience the other candidates who are working in the piping design for six years. So 
you will have a lack of knowledge while performing the job actually and if you are above 8 years or 10 years the situation will be more troublesome because the 8 years candidates or 10 years candidates in piping design are considered to be the higher experienced candidates who are supposed to handle the whole show actually and if you are going to change your field after 8 years or 10 years actually you need to have that kind of knowledge and having not worked in piping design definitely it is not possible for you to have that kind of actual experience you will have some basic experience but you will not have an actual experience please understand reading is different real job is different because in real job you have to deliver within a given time if you have to deliver within a given time you need to know the step by step process of delivering the piping design where to get an input and where how to give an output and what are the associated activities involved actually unless you work in piping design minimum of 3 to 5 years you will not be able to learn this process because piping design is an intense engineering process actually so like any other field you need to have a lot of knowledge in order to perform your duties so the first thing that you will experience is that suddenly moving from an other field to the piping design you will experience a lack of knowledge because you are uh, you have an experience other field which is totally not considered in this field so this is one of the primary factor that number 2 you will have to go through a less salary package because your cv will exactly shows that you have the experience which is not the piping experience so definitely the companies will consider you as a fresher or a beginner so they will not be able to pay you the kind of salary that you have already getting it from other field actually for an example if you are a candidate of 10 years working in any other field or manufacturing or construction field you may be getting good experience i mean you may be getting a good salary considering your experience actually but if you are moving with that salary to piping design as a beginner your salary will be equal to the beginner stage that you may not be able to accept initially you may agree but once you uh, join the job you may not be able to face the financial instability because you are not the only person in the uh, in your life you you are connected with your family you are connected with your parents you have a lot of burdens actually you have some associated responsibilities in order to tackle those things actually you need to have a financial stable income so if you are moving from one field to another field after 8 years or 10 years definitely you will have this salary instability that will definitely will not allow you personally to pursue actually it will put a lot of pressure in you actually so think about this factor also number 3 number 3 is one of the most important thing which is the mental stress i'll tell you what is it about actually being 8 years and 10 years in other field and going to piping field actually first one is that as i said you have a lack of knowledge and your salary these two factors will put a lot of mental pressure on you because it will keep disturbing you day and night whether your choice of decision is right or wrong it will keep on asking you multiple questions whether you have chosen the right field or not whether you have taken a right decision or not actually at the same time you have to learn the job and learn the activities day by day but you may not be able to get the right support that's because actually the people will see you as an experience but you have no knowledge so this will contradict actually so people will think you as a person without knowledge so definitely nobody wants you to teach you actually and remember one thing in any organization people don't have time to train someone actually because they are all working for their own activities their own responsibilities actually in order to deliver something but they don't get time to train you they don't uh, get time to understand your life background understand your interest to train uh, by activity wise actually so you have to learn from the beginning so that you can pursue your career successfully so there are multiple factors one is lack of knowledge one is your salary issues one is the people uh, i mean the peer pressure colleague pressure actually and the expectation from the country uh, company so these kind of multiple factors will put you a lot of mental pressure i'm telling you guys actually with my experience i've seen people who have shifted from other field to piping design went back to the same field within a year or two actually because a new field it's not easy to learn i'm not only saying that i'm not saying piping design is like a rocket science any field if you have an experience in and uh, any particular field for a longer period of time it's better to continue in the same field do not shift your field just because that you have a lack of interest in the other field try to find some interest actually i'll talk about that in the later part of the video first let me tell you what are the risk involved in this video 
so mental stress is the third point that you have to really think upon actually because every day and night you are going to work in an office where you have to work stress free if you are stressful and you may not be able to take any uh, proper uh, decisions then you will be out of the job actually that will put you another uh, level of stress as well actually so think and take wise decision before moving on and the fourth point is losing your past experience knowledge i generally consider the knowledge by time you are getting as a golden opportunity it's like a golden treasure basically actually because so we cannot learn everything in one day day by day if you are staying in one particular field for a longer period of time day by day you will learn some small things actually if you are even not learning day by day you will learn by week by week month by week year after year actually so this tremendous amount of knowledge over a period of time in one field you will lose because you are simply changing from one field to an another field where you do not have an experience you cannot use this knowledge in this field actually so your past experience is completely gone so what is the wise decision the wise decision is that you have to find in the same field how to elevate yourself by taking some certification or to move to an other role by learning some new activities within the same uh, role actually so you have to uh, keep elevating you by uh, taking the larger roles and larger responsibilities within the same uh, field otherwise you will lose the entire experienced knowledge that you have gained in the past which is actually a, one of the biggest disadvantages and drawback for those who are shifting your field from one field to another after several years but for those who are less than 6 years you still have an uh, time to learn actually so you say for an example you are 3 to 4 years or 5 years or 6 years you still have a time to learn and grow but if you have 7 years experience you are considered to be a person who has an intermediate knowledge the company would expect you to deliver actually so the risk factors are more for people who are above 6 years of experience actually so generally if uh you are working in a particular field actually you have to keep accumulating more knowledge in the same field so that you can plan a longer uh, growth in a longer time in in terms of long term growth you can plan successfully actually remember guys every field has an opportunity every field has a growth only thing is that you have to find different companies different region different roles and responsibilities within the same field if you are unsatisfied with some site constructions you can go to the complex uh, constructions you can go to the higher uh, com, com, i mean uh, the companies which are handling the complex constructional activities so that you can elevate yourself that is how one can actually grow within the same field actually shifting the field year after year uh, or after every 3 uh, years or 4 years it's not the wise choice staying within the same field is very very important and the last risk factor is poor growth i'll tell you why it is actually see your cv will exactly show your past experience say for an example you are moving to piping design after 10 years of experience in site activities so your cv exactly will show that you have a 10 years of experience in site activities you don't have any experience in piping design so for any promotions or any activity do you think the company will consider you or you they will consider a person who has a 10 years of design experience you have to think you have to give a uh, time to realize whether you are making a right decision or not actually this is one thing then the year after year knowledge will give you a lot of confidence actually so with that confidence you will perform better so here if you since you don't have an experience you will not be able to perform better so you will not be able to recognize actually so only when you recognize your growth will be consistent see you will be able to uh, consistently grow only after 5 years or 6 years after changing your field actually because that is the learning period every field needs time uh, every person takes time to learn their experience experience you cannot learn in one or two days actually you have to give a time you have to sit and study and experience and do your job and follow the daily activities that is how you gain the knowledge actually so uh, the poor growth is one of the vital factor here actually the people who are joining in piping design after 8 years and 10 years experience they are not considered for any promotion they are not considered for any special activity because the company see you you as an uh, inexperienced person but you have an interest so they have to give you a time actually but if uh, if you have a, a peer colleague who is who has an immense experience in design they will be considered for all the opportunities so this is the practical issue actually so we have to understand when you take decisions blindly by just seeing a design field 
or by any uh, high profile field actually you may not be able to get into a right profession see every job every role every field every company has growth only thing is that we have to be ready uh, to adapt many new things so that we can learn some bigger role activities to move on there are people who are staying in the same company for a longer period of time without learning anything and still complaining about the companies and salary it is just because see if you don't have a knowledge the company cannot afford you to give you high salary or high facility but you have a knowledge you will definitely get a high salary even if you are not going to uh, get a high salary in the same company you can try outside you can try different companies within the same field actually so that you will get high salary high facilities and high recognition that is how it goes actually see these five risks that i have listed it's not an easy risk you have to sit and understand give a time for yourself and realize whether this is okay for you or not actually see if you feel that these five risks are really okay for me then you can pursue piping design absolutely no issues because every person has an interest if you are going to work in an interested field definitely you will grow faster but it is time bounded if you are changing your field after 10 years and considering your growth will be faster no that's not it's going to work it, that's not the way the com- the world works actually at times we have to understand the reality and the practical issues also actually so please understand these five risks and then take your decision so what is the way out let me conclude this video by telling you the way out the way out is that every field has an hierarchy level you have to understand the hierarchy level for example if your company does not have an hierarchy level it stops at certain limit then you have to check another company where the hierarchy level is more accordingly you can go through if you find your country itself has not uh, the do not have an option for the hierarchy level you can check out an other country you can check, uh, go to an uh, other country like gcc europe or any other countries where you can find an opportunity only if you open your eyes and find an opportunity you will be able to seek an opportunity changing the field should not be the right choice changing the field should happen only at the early stage of your career if you are less than 6 years changing the field is fine but if you are more than 6 years do not change your field because you have to go through lot of risk actually so if you are acceptable with this risk only then you can be able to successfully pursue if you feel that you are not fit for it actually then i would say better to stay in the same profession because i am strongly believe that quality is a fantastic field and um, uh, i mean uh, the construction engineers are fantastic field project engineering is a fantastic field planning is a fantastic field and there are a lot of fields are there actually uh, even uh, the met is a fantastic field actually see lot of fields are there actually every field has its unique strength has its unique package and its unique skill sets actually if you develop those skills and find the hierarchy level and you can grow with it there are a lot of certifications available to elevate yourself from one grade to another grade do that certifications and improve yourself to the next level that is how it works actually changing the field should not be the wise option for everybody it needs the right thinking it needs the wise decision actually go through the risk that i have listed over here that will help you to understand whether you are making a right decision or not i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra